Hello friends, welcome back to the Smart Exceller. This video is in the continuation of my previous two videos on search and find. So how to find a certain value in a cell and and return a certain value for the reference. We can do in find and search functions. So please refer to my previous videos before seeing this one. Now if you want to keep this in a systematic manner without writing the functions again and again or you can keep it in the monkey codes, M codes, so automatically the things will be calculated. So that you have to do this in Power Query. So I'm going to see, show you how to do the same thing in Power Query and what are the options and limitations. So first you have to convert this into a table. And now my table has a header and you can create OK. With the and here you can select a light mode. So it is not going to be in the colorful table. You can make mention this as a normal table. Now once it is in, into table, go to data after the conversion and table range. From table range, and you can give any name. It's a table one, or you can give any specific name for this or you can keep it as it is now you can see this now you can see this uh, these are the formulas done in functions done in normal excel so the best way is to do is you can make a m codes for yourself and for future so easy way to do is first you can do in uppercase to reduce the line of codes So you can you can directly do here from this one coding. You can add column. You can make a conditional column or you can make a custom column. Now if you have a conditional column, it's an easy one. So let me show you how to do in a conditional column. So here you can it's a conditional column. You can make this as. Conditional and a, a description if it contains word invoice, the out should be a. And you can read it as blank and we can see the condition. So it has taken for only one criteria, it has not taken for the caps lock criteria. So it's showing empty. You can add one more condition here. Add a clause description contains. Now you can make this in the caps lock. And you can copy this and paste this. Now you can see it has taken. But the problem is if you want it's not it's not case, it is not case sensitive. So it is case sensitive. So it's so you have to write all this things again and again. Now we have to, we have done, we have made two clauses for this. So if you want to make a single clause, it's like this is like a find formula in conditional column. So if you want to, you can name this as find formula. Well, there's a better way, like a search formula you can do that. So what you can do is before that you have to go to the description and change into the uppercase. So now this has become uppercase. Here also you can change the name. You can make this as item this in uppercase. And again, you can make a conditional formula. So you don't want to make this twice. So you can just as, and you can use the item description contains. Now everything is in uppercase, so you have to write in uppercase. And this will be table, and I can do okay. So you can see this in find and this is conditional to this is like search formula.
this is the search formula so you can see the same same things but only if you made in upper case so it will resolve the issue so the first instance instance is that is done in the upper case this is only for reducing the formula now this is conditional find and conditional search now if you want you can write the formulas manually also if you want you can write the formulas manually you can see this the formula can be extracted also so if you want to write the formula manually also you can do first of all you have to go and save this close and load and make only as connections create only create as connections so you can delete this one it is not required so now you can see easy is without any codes so how to write use these codes for future spreadsheets now if you can you can copy the formula and you can write manually also but let me show you what is going to happen if you write it manually go to data queries and you can double click this now how to write the codes manually is the same like you can either copy it from the conditional format but again if you go to view advanced editor and you can copy the code from here but i will try to try to remove this columns because i don't want a extra column on this i'll be going back and remove the upper case so advanced editor and i can see i can either copy this also instead of writing the whole i can copy this and i can make one more column now i don't want i don't want to do a conditional column i want to make a custom column so it will be custom one and simply i'll do the paste this now you can see this is a custom column i have typed the formula and if i want i can add some more things also now i can segregate this for my future use i'm going to show you how to do that also you can keep on segregating in the if so this can be copied also if you want to in future add some more things and do okay so you have seen this now this is in the custom format but when i go and check this it has already gone in the conditional format you have paste the formula but it has gone to see the conditional column format how to keep this in a custom format so you should have add some more functions like or and and all then you can keep this now in i'm going to show you how to keep make use of that format now this is the code now i have copied it you can paste this and this one you can copy and keep it here else and you can copy and like the same thing you can keep here else you can remove the this part cut it down and remove null also now this is one more way to keep the formula for future use now as i said you can put null in the but if you want to increase the formula weight you can keep on adding what you can do is you can do control this copy this and we control for d d for dubai 
and again you can pull this down again you can do control d now this formula if you want to ex exaggerate or if you want to extend the formulas you can keep on writing the codes for this now i and v you can make this i n caps lock I'm going to show you one error. You have to be careful of this. Now, if there is something called IEN, also you can use for that. Okay, so we can just copy this. I should use as or else or else else so you can copy this set control c go back to the tables you can either paste here also you can go and you can paste here also you can go and paste in this but i don't want to do that i will show you in a, another simple way so you can go to add custom column this is custom 2 now you can paste here I will be pasting the formula so I have made a formula but let's see how this formula is working or not I have made an error in this formula and I will do okay this is my custom tool. Okay. Now, if you go and check this, again it has come in the same way. So, this is the way you can copy the formulas and make into future use. But here, you have to remove the spaces. Try to, you have made a spaces, so you have to remove the space. Or else, you will get an error. Will the, the, it will be showing as null. Now, this has been corrected. So this is the way we can copy and paste the formula for longer use. Now again, if I see this, it has been made in a certain way. Now I want to use the formula in a different way so that I don't want my custom column to be seen as a conditional column. So if you see this, if you open this, it is coming as a conditional column, but you have, you have chosen to type and save the formula. See, it's, it's showing in the conditional column, but that has been done through a custom one so my next video will be showing you how to make this into the conditional column so i'll be closing and loading this so this is this is one of the way to you know, for using the data for future and these are the codes can be saved saved in the future so thanks for watching this video i will be showing you in the next video how to uh, copy the codes and uh, how to write the codes in OR functions and two tosses, two sides of OR function. So I will be showing you here so how to write the codes and how to segregate the codes and manually and how. To. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thank you very much.